This is Endgame PVM, one of the most popular things to do in RuneScape 3 to make great GP, and mainly what I've been spending my time doing for the past two years. If you watch any of my Road to Party at episodes, you know 95% of the content is PVM. However, I had an idea to shake things up. I wanted to see how much money I could make if I took my average PVM day, which, when I feel like grinding, is around 6 to 8 hours, and instead do something totally different clue scrolls. And don't go anywhere because you'll be hungry for more after seeing some very juicy drops we get in this video. So with dyes going to massive prices of over 7 to 8 billion GP, clue scrolls are more profitable now than ever. Now I haven't done clues really other than like 5 or 10 here or there in around 3, 4, maybe even 5 years. Last time I really did clues was like 2018, which was a few years after the clue rework and I ended up getting some insane drops which I'll show you just just to, you know, flashback, it's kind of a cringy clip, but uh, this was me getting third age and a die from Clue Scrolls back in 2018. Top hat, not sure if I've had that. I think I have though, but that, that's decent to see. And, oh my God, there is no way, there is no way. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Crap, well, we're gonna reroll these. Oh my God. What the f So yeah, you can get some very big account changing drops even, and back then these drops were worth even less than they are now, so that's what we're going to do for 7 to 8 hours, which is around the time I PVM when I grind, we're going to go and do clue scrolls, gather them all up and do them, do all different types and see how much money we can make. This should be a fun video, so let's get into this. So to start off, I just wanted to do some, you know, the easiest clue, the one that I have the most experience with, which is hard clues. It's my favorite type of clue, and you can get some big things like the Shadow Die or even Third Age. So what I decided to do was go to Hellhounds and AFK there. This is a pretty easy and reliable way to get hard clues without paying too much attention. Um, I went to Hellhounds, I would say for about an hour, an hour and a half. I kind of got unlucky with the amount of drops I was getting. Normally you get a stack of clues much faster, but we went there and we got some hard clues and I ended up doing them and I'm a little bit rusty as with anything uh, when you're learning to PVM and you're first killing bosses you know you don't do things optimally and I'm sure a lot of people are going to tell me that my clue scrolling isn't super optimal which I'm aware of and hopefully it's something that I can improve on as I do more and more clues. Luckily I do have the globe trotter outfit from when I did do clues back in 2018 so uh, that will come in handy but if there's anything new that I'm missing uh, let me know below because there's probably a lot uh, but these hard clues were pretty fast for at least for me uh, didn't take too long and now we're gonna open them up and uh, and see what we can get and then move on to something else so let's see if we can get anything good from these so we had around 20 hard clues here and uh, most of this stuff that I was getting was pretty bad as hard clues kind of you can get kind of shafted a bit with what you get you can get like 90k loots we were getting some fortunate components and stuff um which are like 1.5 mil which is very good but you want those big ticket items i was in a call with my friend during this and uh as you'll see in the next few clues i'm gonna let you hear my live reaction here because we get something pretty awesome and pretty early in this video that'd be like at least a bill 122k, that's a reroll. Ugh. 137k, reroll. 1.4 mil. 111k. Oh, oh my gosh, what the heck? Third age mage hat, what the heck? Uh, what? I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's one of the most expensive ones, I think. So yeah, we ended up getting a third age mage hat, which is uh, my second piece of third age, actually. Um, and it was over 100 mil, which I did not realize the mage hat was that expensive, but 100 mil and my second piece of third age from hard clues, which is pretty insane with how many hard clues I've done. So I forgot to mention I had two masters, so I just decided to throw those in there since masters are quite, you know, you don't get them too often. And I got an elemental impetus, which is 5.9 mil or so, which is also really good. But of course, the third age mage hat takes the cake at an insanely rare drop rate. 
so that was a uh, pretty crazy start to this video to say the least. Uh, the last time I actually got third age was actually in 2018. I got this third age kite shield and uh, that was when my mic was horrible. I didn't really upload to YouTube. I uploaded the clip in 2018 and then unlisted it because I thought it was cringe my reaction but so yeah, that was the last time I got third age and really the last time I did clues for more than like five at a time. Uh, I would sometimes go and do like five here or there, but that's really the last time I really sat down and did a ton of clues. So it's kind of fun to get back into it and crazy that I got rewarded so soon. Uh, but now the plan is since we spent a little over two to three hours doing those, which collecting and doing those, which was not optimal at all. Uh, so I went and I have this scripture of Bic. I bought this quite a while ago, but never really used it. Uh, the scripture of Bic actually gives you a chance to get sort of like a Saren spirit that will give you clue scrolls and what those will do is you click them you get some clue scrolls and it's a way you can skill and collect clues passively and if we look in the GE here I actually went and I bought uh, three scriptures of manuscripts of Bic. They cost me 18 mil to charge this for two hours, 15 minutes. So quite expensive, but in PVM, you have to spend money on supplies. And here for doing clues, we're gonna invest a little bit of money since we got that big drop. Um, but the thing is with the scripture of Bic, the nice thing is you can actually go over the cap of clue scrolls. So we can basically stack hard clues as long as we want with that. Uh, it won't cap us and force us to do them, but let's just see how much we get in two hours. I accidentally took out a master and opened it, but we did actually get two master clues from the two hours of using the scripture of Bic, which I think is pretty lucky. We also got four elite clues and then nine hard clues and then four mediums, no easies. Uh, so we did get around 19 clues in the two hours with the majority of them being hard, elite, and master. And I'm very happy to get two master clues because master clues are one of my favorite clues to do and you can get some really, really really huge rewards. So yeah, we're going to start off I think with the with the master clues and then some of the hard clues and then we'll save the elite for last as I don't really like elites that much, but you know, it is a clue video. I'm changing the way I make money. Yeah, we're going to we're going to do those. So let's get into it. Back at the spot that I got my first die years and years ago. Uh, so let's see if we can have any luck here and then hopefully we'll get some masters from this and then we'll do the masters and the elites and call it there probably it has been uh, probably around five to six hours of doing these so uh let's see what we can get fortunate component off the bat not too bad uh, always always gonna want those i don't really expect much from hard since we just got third age uh, but you never know my my luck with hards is pretty good and my gosh Puzzle box skipping tickets, four of them, 13.8 mil. That just will always be insane to me. Uh, but yeah, I, w I will definitely take those. And then we got not skipping tickets, which I guess also go for a little bit, weirdly enough. Let's keep going here. A Zamrock Full Helm. I think I have almost all the commons uh, from Hards, or all the uh, all the fortunates from Hards. Uh, bow there, another bow. I mean, I'll take it. Let's see, we'll reroll this one for sure. And we get blessed D high chaps, all right. 19 left, no master clues yet. Another fortunate. And that's definitely a reroll there. Let's see, more knots giving tickets. Hey, those are more than I thought, so I'll take those. Another fortunate. Two fortunates, double fortunate. I mean, this hard clues just gives so many fortunates. It's just, it's just so nice. 249k reroll. I have never gotten a Barrow's die, I don't think, from hearts. Actually, I may have gotten one, but I have gotten a Barrow's die from Elites. Another fortunate. 200k, hit him with the reroll. 1.5 mil, 12 left, no masters yet, so maybe we won't be getting any. Oh, just as I say, there's a master. Then costume skipping tickets. One puzzle skipper, you know, hey, I'll still take it. 3.5 mil. Reroll this one here, 100k, 1.7 mil for the H3 body, 177k there, we've got 6 left, I'm going to reroll this one, 156k, 1.4 mil, 145, 150k, reroll, give me a die, 221k, 3 left, fortunate, 
another fortunate magic composite bow. Let's see the last hard clue. What are we going to get? A double fortunate. So I won't reroll that since, uh, of course, double fortunate. But just based off the inventory, a lot of stuff went into the bank. But uh, 27 mil because 17 mil in puzzle skipping tickets. Almost 20 mil in just skipping tickets. And uh, we got a lot of, of, of fortunates and stuff in the bank here. I'm going to be putting it all in this tab. I guess we didn't get any puzzle skippers when I opened the original stack of clues. So uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to see. No, I didn't get any not skipping either, but we did get third age. So let's go do the master clues. We did get one, so we have three and then uh, and also six elites. And we have the big boys here, our elite clues and master clues that we got today. And I also bought four elite reroll tokens because I don't really have anything to do with my, my clue scroll uh, points. And I thought, hey, maybe we'll end this episode with a bang and see if we can get something huge from elites. So I'm gonna redeem all these and uh, and then we'll kind of kind of see if we can get anything anything crazy here. So uh, without further ado, let's see what we get from these big boys. All right, so let's start with the elites. First one and 1.3 mil tower skipping ticket. Okay, uh, I guess we'll keep that. 1.3 mil is pretty good. Uh, I do want to use some rerolls though. That'll definitely be a reroll. 378k, 180k, I'll reroll that. 237k, all right, we'll reroll that. 148k, all right, I guess we'll use all our rerolls here. I forgot how rare fortunates were from elites compared to hearts. Oh, and there is a master clue. Okay, so I'll have to do that real quick before we open these masters. Open again, a dragon square ornament kit. I think I actually have that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and reroll. Another master clue, that's nice, all right. Blessed Dragon High Chaps Bandos, and the last Elite Clue. Another Fortunate Ancient Plate Skirt. So let me go do these two Masters quick, and then we'll open our six Masters. We are, we are back with all six Master Clues. So let's see if we can get something crazy here. I will probably try to re-roll most things just to see what we can get. But let's go with the first one, and there is a Gilded Cavalier. Not bad, 1.8 mil Fortunate component there. I've never gotten anything like a die or anything from Masters, but I haven't done too many. Huge star, not sure if that's rare. Uh, we'll reroll though, why not? And 289k, all right, let's keep going. 338k, 314k, two more left. 365k, hit it with the reroll. 524k, and now for the final Master, can we get anything? Uh, another huge star. So not too many, not much from the masters, but the normal loot actually adds up a little bit. So now we're going to see how much we made from the full day, seven to eight hours around of time of doing clue scrolls and switching things up. So let's see the final GP count. All right, so here we are. So I tried to get almost everything that I could. There are some common drops and stuff that kind of went into my bank that I'm not sure how many I got completely. Uh, but here are the main things. So of course, the item of the episode, the third age mage hat, 103 mil. Very, very crazy, along with an elemental impetus. And then we have a lot of these fortunates that really add up, uh, like all the H1s, uh, the comp bows and stuff. And then we have puzzle skipping tickets are also a big amount. And let's just throw everything in here. So 172 mil we got. And we did around 50 hards, 6 masters, and 5 elites, I believe. So a little over 60 clues. Uh, gathered them in about 3.5 hours. And then also completed them in about 3.5 hours as well. So around 7 hours total, 172 mil. So that comes out to over 20 mil an hour. Uh, of course, if you take away the mage, chat it's around 10 mil an hour uh but we didn't get any dies which are the huge ticket item as well but yeah this was really really fun to do crazy to get third age and really fun to just switch things up so if you guys want to see a video like this but maybe with another aspect of the game let me know below or if you want to see a part two of this maybe you know a full week let me know below but yeah thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it at all helps get the video out to more people and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one